All right, guys, today's tutorial, we have a 2012 Chevy Silverado 2500. The uh, heater, AC, blower motor is not working. I'm going to show you a couple of things that it could be. One would be the resistor, how to change that. It's really simple. And two is the blower motor. Now, pay attention all the way through the video up to where we get the blower motor because apparently on this model, there's two types of blower motors. Somewhere along the line, they switch them. One of them is hardwired into the, your wires are hardwired into the blower motor. The new motor they're going to give you is not hardwired in there. So you're going to need this harness that I'm going to show you. So before you leave the dealer, make sure you know what blower motor you have in there. Even going by your VIN, it's not going to matter. You need to drop your blower motor down. Look at the wiring going into it. If it's hardwired into the blower motor, before you leave the dealer, tell them to give you that harness too that's going to help you connect the new one. But watch the video, you're going to see what I'm talking about. We're going to try replacing this resistor today, which is one of the most common problems. There is your GM number there, 841-787-83. And this is the uh, fan motor that we're going to, the blower motor here that we're going to swap out also. This is the, uh, the box right here. So I am going to think that it is that number 2274-1027. All right, so we're in a driver's side here. And I'd already started dropping down some of these bolts here to uh, lower this access panel, all right? There's your glove box. Come right underneath. You're going to have this whole panel right here. And you're going to look underneath. You'll see the little channels here. There's going to be a 730 seconds uh, bolt in there. And then when you come down a little bit, you're going to see that one's still in there. Get a little closer. You can see that's a 730 seconds. And then you're going to have one. You go way down there where the hump is in the middle of the truck. And you're going to see another, another one right down there. All right. So get yourself a uh, 730 seconds socket. And uh, you don't have a whole lot of a room for an extension when you get to this hump here to get it up in there. And you don't have any room here as you can see to fit a battery tool under there or anything there's just no room to even put an extension on that so it's going to be a ratchet and a socket for this job guys all right so i'm going to finish taking off that last 730 second right there we want to get this whole panel lowered down then you're going to come across two of these that are holding this resistor in place right here all right so one's basically on this side of it it's a 730 second socket all right, and then there's going to be one on the back side of it. All right, once you take them two out, this resistor just pretty much pulls down. You're going to have to pull out these wires. So you basically just push down on these tabs and pull it straight out. And same thing on the gray one here. Push straight down on the tab, pull it straight out. Comes out just like that, guys. Really simple. Then you're just going to take your new one and pretty much slide them right back in. Snap that one in. Snap that one in and then slide that back up there and bolt it up. Your blower motor over here, this has not been changed. So we're going to take this out. Now looking up there, you, don't, you'll be, you won't see any bolts or anything up there. But you will see there's a uh, tab over here that, let me see if you can get up there. There's a tab right here you want to pull down on it. Okay, and then you're basically going to pull... Uh, I don't think I'm going to need two hands for this. But you basically want to pull down and push forward towards the engine. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Oh, there it goes. So you know it's pretty easy if I was able to do it with one hand. All right. Now your motor's down. So just look to the back of it. And there's your wiring right there. Now if you have not uh, purchased a new blower motor yet and you just want to inspect the wiring, this is where you would do that. Okay. Now... Right here is where you're going to disconnect these two wires right here. Alright guys, so the wire going here to the resistor, um, pretty much I cut it. Um, get this blower out of there because, now pay attention to this, if you have come across this blower motor, I want you to see, this is actually, there's no clip in here to pull out. These wires are hardwired inside the motor all right now your newer motor is going to come with an adapter like this 
from the dealer. So when you go to hook, when you come back, you have no way to unplug this to plug your new motor in. Well, what you need to get is this part right here. It's actually a, a new harness. It's got this one end on it that goes into the resistor and the other end on it that goes into the blower motor. I don't know why they changed that over, um, but this will save you a trip because so I would pull this out of your vehicle first and see what if you have this model blower motor. Because if you have the model that's hardwired in and you come back with a blower motor, you're going to be so mad because now you have to run back again because you can't install the new motor. You have to buy this harness that's going to convert it over to this motor. And that harness number is... Here we go. We got a harness, heater, wiring... I'm going to say it's this number here. Yeah, GM number. 229-57044. All right. Get this harness if you have this type of wiring on the blower motor that comes out. Okay. So now this is pretty much out of the way. We're going to take the new harness and we are going to plug it in to our resistor where we took the other one out. And the other end we will plug into here and then we'll go ahead and put that blower motor back up in there All right now you can see the harness plugged right into the new one And I got my gray one plugged right back into the resistor there Now before you go put it back up. Just let's turn the key and make sure the fan comes on Our fan is on And now we can go ahead and raise that back up there try to do this with one hand here. So just raise your uh, motor up in there now The tab you see it back there. All right, that's where it locked in place, right? Remember that's where we pulled it down when you're putting this in turn the tab past it and Just kind of wiggle the motor a little bit. You'll feel it drop in there. Then you want to turn it and until that tab uh, It's hard with one hand uh, Like that so the tab came up and clicked in Right there. So start the tab back here until it feel it seat in, and then turn it this way and bring that tab up and it'll drop right in there. And the fan's locked in. And that's it. That's how you install the uh, the new blower motor and go ahead and put your panel back up there with your seven millimeter bolts. Bolt that back up. And uh, if you're still having problems after that, other things you can check are the actual fuse in the vehicle. Make sure that your uh, blower motor fuse is not blown. And then other than that, you can check your uh, your climate control module, which would be your actual switch that you turn um, that, you know, activates everything. But that's how you do the motor and the resistor on a 2012 Chevy Silverado 2500. Please, guys, if you could just hit subscribe below and give me a like. Any questions or comments, just uh, feel free to reach out to me. I try to get back to everybody usually within a day or so. All right. Thanks for tuning in, guys. See you next time.